All right, what's going on all? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I kind of had a little issue with the GR Corolla. I hadn't driven it in about going on almost a month now, three weeks, a little bit over three weeks, right? And for whatever reason, when I went to go, you know, get in it, drive it around for a little bit, just to like move it about, uh, my battery was actually dead. And I find that extremely weird for only being like a little over three weeks. There's no way this battery should have died. It is an anti-gravity battery. Uh, so luckily it was an anti-gravity battery, so I had the Bluetooth remote start where I, like, I was able to like push the button on my keychain and it gave it enough juice to start and ever since then it hasn't had an issue, right? And I'm like, there's nothing in my car that should be causing a drain that isn't there from factory, right? Like from the Toyota GR dealership or build factory or whatever. And uh, it was driving me insane. I just couldn't figure it out. And then just right now, I was looking on Facebook, just scrolling around. And I saw that uh, Graham from Boosted uh, and Limit Plus One, whatever, the guy who does all the tuning for the GR Corolla currently, uh, said that he is having trouble tuning his car because, or tuning other people's cars because they have an aftermarket GPS tracker installed from the car. And he said he's done about a couple of them now where like all the issues that where he can't flash on Ecutech is because they have this uh, aftermarket GPS tracker piggybacked in into their OBD2 port and like when I first got the car my OBD2 port was like loose and I just figured whatever mine must have been built on a Friday right the guy didn't fully click it in so I, when I, I clicked it in and I hadn't had an issue since uh, and by loose I mean like whenever I went to go plug in a dongle for the OBD2 port it would like just push up and I thought that was a little strange but I was like whatever it's not a big deal and then I saw in his post that uh you know there's these aftermarket GPS tracker and it had me thinking what if that was causing my drain? And that's why my thing was loose. So I'm gonna go in the car right now I, I, and I'm gonna go ahead and see if uh, that's actually the case. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. I got one screw out from under there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this other screw out like so. And then go in here, release these little tab clips pull off this under tray. This is what I was talking about, the OBD2 port that was kind of loose. Whenever I plug a dongle in, it would just kind of push up into the plastic until I like took this apart. And uh, sorry, kind of hard to do one handed here. Just gotta loosen up the clip. Okay, got one down, got that down. So right here, this part right here, it was off the connector and I never really paid attention to it. So let's go ahead and I think this should just pull out, right, yeah, just pull right out and follow the line, what is this, ah, you know what, here it is, sure enough, is it, yep, that, yeah, oh my god, How have I never noticed this, so yeah, it's definitely piggybacked into my OBD2, Right here, clear as day, why is this GPS tracker in here? I did not sign up for anything. In fact, when they were asking for like the low jack or whatever, when they were trying to sell me on that when I was buying the car, I turned them down. But this, oh, let's see if I can get this, wedge this in here pretty good. I didn't even like zip tie it off to something, I just stuck it in here. Sure enough. Look at that. Oh man. All right, so now I gotta work on unclipping it. So this is a standard OBD, I assume, which for some reason I never noticed was piggybacked into something else. But yeah, sure enough, let me go ahead and like detach this from the plastic that <laughs> I kind of like forced it on and then I'll give you guys a closer look. All right, so here it is. Uh, it doesn't look exactly like the one I showed you in that picture of the screenshot earlier, but yeah, I guess this is what uh, they were talking about. I don't know if it's actually a uh, GPS or low jack or whatever it is, but uh, yeah, I definitely had something uh, kind of sandwiched in or uh, not sandwiched, uh, daisy chaining off of my OBD2 port. And now I know why this thing was loose to begin with. So yeah, there we go. Uh, Toyota is tracking your car wherever you go. If that's something you guys signed up for for LoJack, uh, definitely, you know, I guess just leave that alone. But I guess also kind of be aware that mine did drain my battery after about three weeks. Uh, and if you plan on getting tuned, apparently these are interfering 
uh, with the Ecutech system. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind if you're going to go get tuned. If you know you're not getting tuned and you did pay for the low jack, just know that this is a possibility of something that could be causing a drain in your battery. But yeah, thanks guys. Really short video. I just want to get this information out there. If you guys weren't aware, like myself, uh, I guess there are some people that are aware and you know they paid for it. But I didn't pay for this. But I also don't like Toyota tracking my car. Uh, I guess, uh, yeah, uh, and if for whatever reason this is factory, which this definitely does not look factory, right? Factory wouldn't use one of these uh, jumpers for a fuse or whatever, but yeah. Uh, there you guys go. Just a little heads up. Toyota is tracking your car with or without your consent.